Four now. Hey man, me and Tia gonna get some breakfast. You trying to go? Nah, bro. What? I said I'm good, bro. All right, bro. Both for me, man. I'm trying to get on my food, man. You sure, man? I'm good, bro. All right. Yo, I couldn't like help but notice you notice me. Notice me. You welcome. Do you want anything else? You good? I'm good. Thank you. Right. You good? I thought you said you wasn't gay. Man, chill out. What's your name? I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you, Jordan. I'm Jamal. Nice to meet you, too. You from here? Born and raised. You? Chicago. I just moved here like, what, two months ago? With my brother. We finished school. Oh, now that you say that, you do look familiar. You be running around on campus. You go to Georgia State, right? Yeah. About to graduate next week. Oh, nice. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, shit. I gotta go. Uh, give me some time.
What's up, bro? What's up? Ain't nothing, man. Chilling, chilling. So, um, I tried to get you that letter earlier, man, and mine, I'm saying, you know? Oh, yeah, I got it. Appreciate it. I already read it. Yeah, man. Um, kind of got something I want to talk to you about, bro. So I came in your room, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I saw your phone was on porn. But look, man, I ain't, listen, I ain't judging you, all right? I ain't judging you, man. I just, uh, I just want you to know, man, you can, you can keep it real with me. I'm your big bro. Oh God, bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. Come on, bro. But I gotta go. What you mean you gotta go? Listen, all you gotta do is just sit here and talk to me, man, bro. Really? What? Bro, I don't smoke this whack ass shit. <laughs> it ain't for you. Listen, let me apologize. I know I might look like a fuck, but I really don't give it up that easily. I got you. And I mean, I just want to get to know you a little bit better before I fall for a guy like you, you know? A guy like me? What that supposed to mean? All I'm saying is, I don't know you. All I know about you is, is that you fine as fuck from Chicago. You look fucked up in the head. I mean, earlier, you were trying to say you weren't even gay. I'm not. Okay, get out. You're new at this shit. Are you? Ten seconds ago, you was just trying to kiss me. See, I think I'm starting to get the sense of the type of guy you are. I done met a lot of y'all. Nigga, don't compare me to these faggots out here. I don't know what I like. What I do. Look, I wanted to talk to you because I feel like my brother found out my situation that I like guys. I feel like I let him down. I know what I like. I'm just so many mixed feelings right now. I want love, but I'm scared. See how my brother moved? It was just me and my parents. And they used to get on me by everything. And I love my brother. Went to the same high school. He was a senior. I was a freshman. I remember one time, these dudes were trying to pick on me. He used to always have my back. He would always get in trouble for it. They just wrote me a letter telling me they can't even come to my graduation. How you think that made me feel? Shit hurt, man. I'm a sensitive person. People just don't see that. Now I feel like I'm just lost and confused. I don't know what to do. That's why my mind all cloudy like this. That's why I go running. Try to clear my head. Now you see why I want to give up? Jamal. You can't think like that, man. Let me say this. First off, if you want love, you gotta be able to love yourself and accept everything that comes with that. I mean, you're the most beautiful guy I've met yet. Like in your smile, that's your best asset. I mean, I know it hurts that like your brother found out or your brother knowing, but trust me, you won't regret it. And I mean, I don't want you to ever think like that you're in this by yourself. Like I know we just met, but trust me, I'm gonna be here every step of the way. Jamal. Jamal. It's gonna be okay.
Yeah, I was thinking, um, I found out that my sister and my parents ain't gonna be home tonight, so I was gonna cook if you want to come over. Cook. You can cook? Yeah. Something slight. That'd probably be cool and all, but um, I promised my brother I would hang with him, and um, he could, so. Oh, uh, that's cool. Did you ever talk to your brother? Nah, not yet. But I'm probably talking to him tonight over dinner. Uh, I told you it's gonna end up being okay. He did. Mm -hmm. He said a lot of things that day. We did. Yeah, like that kiss. Why did you kiss me? Because when I leaned in for a kiss, I got... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I started feeling bad for you, and you know? so I was like, I might as well give him a little sign. Sympathy. Mm -hmm. Don't need it, yo. Don't need it. <laughs> You're so crazy. Look, man. You're so crazy. What's <laughs> <laughs> so funny? You. I'm You're cute. Friend. You look cute today. Oh, thank you. I'm trying. Do you? Yeah, gotta have my fly match your fly. Oh, oh, for sure. Do this one. Right. I see how you be licking when I be peeping you out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why we sitting out here talking. Something slight. <laughs> what you doing tonight? Uh, not any, anything. For real. Eh, I don't have no plans. Um, is it? Yeah. Stop. 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 What's up? And that's Jamal over there? I can't remove apps from your iPhone. Neither can I. My apologies. Your ex, Jamal. <laughs> Come here. Hey, Jamal. What's up, Marcus? Kevin? Who is this? This is my friend Jordan. Jordan, that's Kevin. That's Marcus. What's up? I seen you at the clinic the other day. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up? What's that have to do with Marcus, man, get your friend. Come on, Kevin, right. man. Um, nice meeting you, Jackson. Um, Jordan. Okay. Nice meeting you, Jordan. Uh, and even though you didn't text me back, it was nice seeing you again. My bad about that whole little situation, that Marcus and Kevin. But what was he talking about? He said you had to text him. You didn't respond to him. What was they talking about you in the clinic, though? So I had to go to this clinic with my sister the other day, and um, I guess he saw me there with her. I don't know. Well, nah, so, that's just my friend Marcus and Kevin. I just know them from around campus. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, I thought I was going to show my ass. Oh, oh no, nah, you no, know? nah, I ain't no need for none of that. Uh-huh. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a walk. You can. <laughs> Speaking of your brother, did you ever talk to your brother? Here you go. And I answer your question? No. Nope. I was gonna do it over dinner, but since he went out of town, I couldn't do it. You need anything else besides a fork? And some ranch. Ranch? You eat ranch with spaghetti? Yeah. You don't like ranch with spaghetti? You like sugar with grits? No. You don't know what you missing, boy? It look like you can cook a little something. Do have some ranch. Can we do it for me? Grab your nap. Come on, hospitality. Thank you. So what's up with your pop-ups? You know, every now and then if I'm in the area, 
I just seen what you was doing. You ain't think to text me and tell me that your brother was gone. So luckily I was in the air. Crazy, your sister, my sister gone, and your brother gone at the same time. So what you trying to say? Huh? I'm just saying they they gone. Just eat your food, man. It's good. Who cooked this? What you see here? That's good. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> so why are you really here? You remember that whole ordeal earlier, like in the park and stuff? It's how low key, um, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about it. The clinic? Yeah. So, basically, um, I'm HIV positive. And it was like about a year ago, I had been with somebody for three years and I went to a clinic and um, at Grady and I found out that like they stepped out of the relationship and things and they gave it to me or whatever. And uh, it just didn't stay right with me without you knowing. to leave for what because that's something you should have told me from the jump because i would never put my life at risk like that at risk <laughs> told me that from the jump marcus okay so why is this bitch here that's such a negative greeting for such a positive person hello i'm gonna let you handle your girlfriend have a good night so this whole time that you was trying to say that you was doing whatever you was doing, they was the campus guys. That's your nigga? Just leave, bro. Man. Come on, man. Get up, man. Get up, man. What the fuck happened, man? Come on, man. Get up, bro. Please, man. No, man. Don't do this, man. Somebody help me, man. Someone help. Help, man. Jordan, please. Come on. Get up, man.
Hey, Jamal, come on in. Jamal, what brings you to the office this morning? Ms. Young, I'm trying. I really am trying. Is it Jordan? I should have did things different. I should have been there for him. I was starting to open up and actually starting to do any and everything I never thought I would do. Jamal, you were there for him, and you still are. Don't beat yourself up about this. I just can't do this anymore. You needed him, and he helped you open up. Now he needs you most. Stay strong. Let it out, Jamal. Many people have a positive experience coming out and often regret not coming out sooner. I'm sure he's in a better place. He's looking down at you saying, I don't want you to ever think like that you're in this by yourself. Like, I know we just met, but trust me, I'm going to be here every step of the way. I love you and I'll always be here whenever you need me. But most importantly, I want you to be yourself and to be happy. Deep breaths, Jamal. Take a deep breath. You're going to get through this. Jamal. Jamal. You were the match I was a flame. Why'd we let it burn out? Two hearts beating at the same. Time, but look at us now. Saying things we didn't mean. Paved the way to broken dreams. Never meant for you. Don't let this be 